Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce the best of the best. Best in show. Good morning and evening friends, welcome to Best in Show Radio on the Hear Us Talk Radio Network, the thing you do with your ear and the place to be. What about the which other one? What? Which one? James and I stumbled over each other to, to attack you for saying ear instead of ears. With like two jerk Did balls. I say ear? Yeah. You said ear and you said which one? I was like, why not the other one? <laughs> like two assholes. The thing to do with your ear and the place to be. Doesn't matter, you could choose either one. My name is Keith, I'm the one who apparently has only one ear. To the left of me. Anyway, if you want to send us a hey guys, send it to hey guys at bestinshowradio.com. A hey guys could be anything. It could be a question. It could be uh, it could be advice you need or something. You just want to tell us how wonderful something is. Someone you like. You should tell us who you like. Send us your hey guys and tell us who you like. And you can send us a shopping list as well to read. This is James and Chris. So, and uh, guys, I gotta tell you something quickly. Uh, Last night I watched a movie. I'm 40, for those of you that don't know. Oh, boy. Last night I watched a movie. Can I guess? Sure. Twilight. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Way too recent. I watched... No, 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 it was a new movie. It was actually a no, that's pay-per-view... Keith. That's Keith. It's not 100K. That's Keith. It's actually a pay-per-view film that I paid to view. Uh, and... Pay-per-view? And actually, and actually, I did, it's not pay-per-view, because I could watch it again tonight for the next 24 hours and they won't charge me again. Oh, well, just wait and see, they might. <laughs> it's true. Uh, so pa- I, that's like a paper day view. I, I watched a, this movie. It's a rental. It was a horror film. Mm. And Did you jizz in your pants? And I watched it till about midnight. And um, I don't remember, I don't know if you remember, a couple weeks ago I talked about how I listened to a, a radio program called Coast to Coast AM and they talk about like UFOs and weird, creepy, like paranormal things. A couple of weeks ago or 2007? No, I talked about it recently and I, I mentioned how. Really? I heard them talking about something called the black eyed children, which is this supposed phenomenon of these kids that just show up at the door and their eyes are all black. And, I remember you talking about this recently. And, and, they would, and as the guy's talking about the knock on the door, my cat banged into the door and I was like, you know what? I have to turn this off. I remember that story, but I didn't realize that, that was. Uh uh, whatever it is, the show, Coast to Coast. I don't think it was AM. I think we were talking about it at, on the way home after filming. Oh. <laughs> that might be it. Well, yes. that's your fault for not being there with us. And anyway, uh, last night I watched a movie called The Marked Ones, which is Paranormal Activity Eight? 4A, because it's sort of in line with them, but it's not really. Yeah, it is. It's basically, it's another sequel. It's the same storyline. Um... It was a really good movie, I thought. I like it. I like that whole series. I don't call them a franchise because I hate that phrase, word. But uh, I went to sleep. I I, I watched it to like midnight. I laid in bed analyzing it. Till did you stop the movie short at midnight? Or did you watch it? No, it was over. Wait, 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 wait. When you say analyzing it, you mean in your own head or talking to your your lady? She fell asleep and I realized she was asleep. And you, so then I laid awake the rest of the time. Okay, but she didn't fall asleep. She fell asleep during the movie, not the while talking. you were talking. Oh, so you thought you were talking to her? Yeah. <laughs> 
We were discussing <laughs> Mrs. The movie. Keith, you're the greatest person <laughs> in the world. I we love that. We were discussing the movie down. and uh, and then I just kept going on and on and I could tell she was getting tired and then all of a sudden like I, I realized she was sleeping. So I just turned out the light and I put on the radio and I laid there trying to analyze it in my head. And as I started to fall asleep, I really started to creep myself out. But the weird thing that happened is I wasn't creeped out by like demons or ghosts or anything like that. I started getting, well, I mean, that's what creeped me out in the first place, that movie and just the whole atmosphere of it. And then laying in a quiet place and looking at the shadows on the wall. But no more life. I started to I fall asleep. And it was the most uncomfortable sleep I've had in years, except for when I had the flu recently, because I was laying there, waking up in and out of nightmares the whole night. And the nightmares had nothing to do with any of the subject matter in the movie. The nightmares were more like, I don't, the only thing I remember is being with a guy that like I knew and we were trying to rob, like steal money from a safe at our job, wherever this job happened to be, and, and like, and thinking that at one point, oh man, I'm definitely gonna get caught and worried about fingerprints. It was just really uncomfortable nightmares. I think it's very rude that you were trying to steal from the safe at Ron Hill's Jim Handley's <laughs> universe. I think that's a They would not let me anywhere near that safe. Inappropriate. <laughs> Ronnie Hill, I'm sorry. And no, it wasn't a real job. It was just it, it was in my head. It was your oh, dream I'm, job. I'm, I'm aware of the fact that things that happen in your dream aren't your real job. It's okay. I understand that the concept of dreaming is something you've invented in the so I shouldn't have gone to HR today and apologized. <laughs> <laughs> at the draw at, 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 at Ron's? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it was just odd to me that I started. First of all, the fact I agree. That, this whole thing is the odd. fact that it was that I'm 40, as I mentioned, and I was creeped out to fall asleep about a movie, and then and at one point I'm just like, all right, you're like actually creeped out. You're actually having a problem falling asleep. Those things don't exist. You know those things don't exist. Why are you having a hard time? And then I heard a noise, and I was like, damn it, <laughs> I'm getting creeped out. And I and I fell asleep in a really uncomfortable way, and uh, and I had nightmares. I've never seen. Is it. that the end of the story, or is there more to it? No, that's pretty much. The okay, end okay. Of I just yeah. I thought I was gonna start responding, and I didn't know if no, it, like, there was... woke me up and said you're right. But I didn't know there was there was <laughs> something. How dare else. you call me? She's gonna get pissed. Um, it's don't blame him. He's having a tough day. It's nightmares. Um, him and Chris are fighting before the show. Is very. Tense. We absolutely were actually. Actually, we totally weren't. Um, I had. I don't want to. I don't want to come off like a. Uh, oh right. No, you don't. Like a. Yeah, I was just gonna say if we weren't fighting you. You by fighting you mean you were just telling me how dissatisfied you are with how I live my life. <laughs> No, I just wanted to hear about it. I wanted to hear about your... your like every conversation we basically have. Yeah, like, wait, what's wrong with you? Why do you do that? Is that that's that's judging. It's not like... Starting, starting every sentence, starting with... All right, can I just explain something to you? I don't understand why I'm being attacked now. All right, go ahead. So... Sorry. I don't want to come off like a jerk here or anything, like, or like wanting to be cool guy, but I don't know that I can be scared. Of things like you shouldn't be. <laughs> like, like, I mean, like I, I don't even. I can't even fathom it. I have a friend that recently called me freaking out because she heard noises in the house and thought someone there was, was someone there. in the house holding the gun. To her. The thing was, it was late at night, and the house. I mean, this is her her parents' house. She was staying at her parents, and there are other people that have access to the house that left certain doors unlocked. So when she came into the house, a door that was unlocked that wasn't supposed to be unlocked. So she bugged out like, wait, did someone leave the door unlocked or did someone else leave the door unlocked and they're still here? Like, and she started bugging out a little bit. And I felt bad and I was just like trying to like, all right, I, I think you're okay. I don't think you have anything to worry about. And then I tried to put myself in that position and put myself in that mindset. I couldn't fathom being afraid that someone was in the house. Like, but that's a legitimate. If thing someone, to be I agree with you. I agree, but I couldn't. You just can't. Get I scared. couldn't be scared of that. Like the worst thing that would happen is like I would go there and someone would kill me. Like I'm not claiming like I'm tough. Nothing would happen to me. Like I could get effed up by like a, a, a little you know girl, Minnie Mouse. I, I would would kill me. You know, I'm not like it's, I'm not I'm not playing the role of a tough guy. Like it's not that. It's just like I just don't even understand that 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 fear. Thing like I, I mean I, I'm afraid of like you know if you're, you're walking in the middle of the street I'm afraid I might get hit by a car. It's not like I'm like I, I'm afraid of heights, but like being like oh no what's that or the demon on that TV show makes me scared. I so far into me. But you're afraid of germs. I am. They're real though. So there's no hair raising fear for you. Right. I like I'm, I'm oh god. Unless you see the car coming. Okay. 
I actually mentioned to Keith today, hey, at one point during the show, I got to bring up this thing that happened to me. Uh, I don't know how we're going to introduce it, whatever. And you saying afraid of germs totally ties it in and brings it in. Skylight Worker, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hijack your uh, horror. No, fear. that was it. I'm scared oh, of right. demons. <laughs> don't let his back. That's, that's weird. <laughs> you're, 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 uh, <laughs> hey, come on. Look, it's not a demon on my back. It's like a... A, 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 a demon. Yeah, a demon. A devil fella. Um... I was in an office at work today, and one of the guys that I work with is bald. Uh, much like you, Keith, like very bald, like no, like keeps it skin, skin bald. And this weekend was a little sunny, and he got his, his, his top of his head burnt. So all day he was putting lotion on his head to deal with the, uh, the sunburn. Terrible place to get burnt. And his head was peeling. While I was That's sitting, why it's terrible. While I was sitting there, he peels a huge oh. chunk off his head and puts it on my leg. Okay. It was the most horrifying thing that I could imagine happening. I was repulsed beyond repulsed. I'm not talking to the guy still at this moment. Like I, I walked away from him. He kept. He talked to me a couple more times. Tried to talk to me a couple more times. Wouldn't talk to him. Came out of his office. I screamed like a maniac. And when I came out of his office, you're like, "What happened?" It's like this animal just put his head skin, his scaly scab head on my leg. I'm repulsed and I hate my entire life. Sorry. You know, I when I go out, you said afraid okay. of germs. And that's what it made me think of. When I go out and walking in the in the summer, anytime there's sun in the summertime, when I, the weather's yeah, something. exactly uh, when the weather warms up, I I put a ton of sunblock on my head as you should anyway. But it's the second SPF I get 80? in the door, yeah, something like that along those lines. Stuff. The second I get in the door, I have aloe at work. I have aloe at home. I just continuously just keep dumping it because the biggest fear I have, aside from the fact that I could actually mess myself up bad. Time out. The biggest fear you have is demons. <laughs> okay. The second biggest fear after demons is the slightest little speck of having peeling skin on my head because I won't go to work. I don't want to be disgusting and have like one little dot of skin peeling on my Wear head. Wear a wig. <laughs> <laughs> that's a reasonable, that's a reasonable uh, response. All right. Here's the thing. What? Why, are you <laughs> Why are you wearing a... Wear a do-rag. Why do you look like George Washington? There was a lot of sun, there was a lot of sun this weekend. <laughs> Band-Aid? Band-Aid... But you, you can't do a Band-Aid because you don't know where the skin's going to peel from. Plus a sunburn... Well, he'll know afterwards. Really That's asking for trouble. It's asking for a disease if you're getting sunburned on your head. So I try to avoid it. As a matter of fact, now, I, when I go walking... You wear a cap. I don't have it on me. I left it at work, but I wear a cap because I'm not even messing with the sunblock. I'm putting the sunblock on the neck and just wearing the hat. That's weird because I was thinking today, on a totally unrelated note, I need to buy a Staten Island Stapes uh, baseball cap. And I don't wear baseball caps. Just thought you wanted to know that. What's a Staten Island Stapes cap? The Staten Island Stapes were... Oh, the uh, Stapletons, the old... Yes. Well, they were the Stapes. They weren't, uh, they weren't Stapletons. They were the, uh, the Stapleton projects were built on, on where it was. Or where the, their uh, their playing ground was. And like the Metropolitans became the Metrops. Right. Yes. Athletics became the A's. I like them. Last week I wore my uh, Oakland A's colored Hear Us Talk. Hey! Oh, it was colored. Sorry. It, it, it had the colors of it. I don't like. I, I don't like the word colored. I wore that Hearing green. my grandfather during my childhood oh. makes me afraid of, of that word colored. My green and yellow. Uh, but oh no! But nobody's going to so know about of, that. You're afraid of germs and colors. Yes. Okay. No, I'm afraid of the usage of the word colored because of my grandfather, whose name, by the way, Blackie. Is that because you think colors are going to pop out of her and scare you? No. What, like so demons? Last, yes. week, last week you discussed having a, a, a Nazi uncle or something. Yes. On the show? Yes. Oh, that's right. The that show that's show's, lost forever. The show is Lost Forever. Our second show, Lost Forever, from last week. Yes. Is, is, uh, is he in the family of the... Of the... Oh, the side of the family. Oh, okay. Right. It's weird because a lot of guys weren't racist then, so you must have randomly settled on a couple that were. I know. It's weird. It's very weird. <laughs> yeah, my, 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 my grandfather, Blackie, who made me afraid of colors... Uh, and now Keith is a demon, right? Now there's supposed to be some sort of sound playing. Yeah, supposed to know that it's the end of the segment. Too hot, baby. Well, good job. Try not. Don't mute your phone next time. Oh no! It came on. It was just no, 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 no. <laughs> how I said it. No, exactly how I said it. No. <laughs> Take us to the break. I did. I went.
Welcome back to Best in Show Radio on the Heroes Talk Radio Network, the thing you do with your ears and the place to be. <laughs> if you want to send us a hey guys, send it wait, to wait, hey. wait, 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 wait. What's the name of the network? Heroes Talk. Who's on Heroes Talk? Oh, lots of people. Bugs. Oh, so many people. Bugs Zapper Radio? They're on there. I apologize every now and again when they do a show. They're on there. DJ New Style Show? He's on there. They're on there. Drive Time Theater? And he does, they do some other monster thing that I haven't figured out the name of it yet. Monster... Meh, 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 meh. That's it. That's it. Ghost yeah. Bashes. Ghost Bashes, um, thank you. Hey, mon that's Monster Mayhem, right? <laughs> 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 monster Mania, it's called. <laughs> By the way, Ghost Bashes isn't even a show, right? Isn't that like a video thing that they're doing? No, they're doing an actual show, but I don't think, no, I don't think that has anything to do with Heroes Talk, though. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that's actually on a network that they like. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Um, and Thanks, I'm Jeff. Thanks, Smitty. Appreciate you guys. And anyway, uh, if you want to send us a hey guys, send it to hey guys at bestinshowradio.com. Um, David in New Jersey sent us a bunch of hey guys. and uh, How many, actually? 37. We would have, and we, we went through this a little bit last week, but unfortunately the live program, other than the people that were here for the live show last week... Uh, Which I gonna, wasn't. You're not going to know anything about it because the, I don't know, the Ustream chat room decided to take a crap in the middle of it and we didn't even know it wasn't recording. So sorry. It didn't like it that I wasn't here, so it just... Decided to crash. That makes two of us, because I didn't like it that you were in here. Keith, he loved it. He was in all his glory. He's like, ah, James isn't hugging my mic time. I was wearing my green and yellow James isn't here shirt. <laughs> you love the athletics. Uh, so one of them that he sent us, which we briefly discussed, and I guess we should get back into it since nobody saw us talk about it. Could you clearly explain that there literally are... Yeah, he sent us 37, 37 hey guys. Hey guys. We, talk, we talked about it at length last week, about how insane and awesome it was. We literally have 37 different emails from the same person. In other words, shame on the rest of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, there, there are people that have emailed, but not as much as him. Shame on them. <laughs> shame on you. Shame on the person that sent 36. Shame on a, who tries to run game on a... So, speaking of being awkward, his question, one of them, was how do you stop awkward silent pause when talking to someone you don't really know. Did he, were we talking about anything awkward? I don't think so. Okay. Well, you were, you were making it a little awkward. <laughs> I wish the microphone can actually hear the sound of mouth. I see that to me was the most awkward thing about that. Just everybody that was going on in here because I, I skeeve that sounds so bad. And I don't really know you guys. That's what made that so awkward. Um, but why was it awkward? Because I because I started quoting a song that had the N word in it and stopped before saying the N word. Is that what you're talking about? Should just put in the C word. I didn't even hear that. Oh, okay. So then, what made what was awkward? Nothing. I was just being a jerk. <laughs> not, the whole thing went awkward. Well, well, oh yeah, the Wu Tang song. I did hear that, but that's not what I was referring to. Did you to. say they were selling their album? Yeah, to one, one person. Yeah, they're great. Um. Wu Tang is good, by the way. 2014. Just thought I'd get that update out there to you guys. Uh, I think we started talking about this last week. Keith, I, I, why don't you ask James how he feels about awkward silences? James, go for it. I'll ask you again. How do you stop awkward silent pause when talking to someone you don't really know? I'm, I'm going to tell you this. It depends on whether I Wait, like them on. or not. I'm going to say this. I would be willing to bet you. His answer is going to be very similar to what I said last week that I'm going to re-say well, tonight. Let me tell James first. Nope. Don't. No, 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 what my answer was. Nope. No. Nope. It's James's turn. Okay, go for it. It depends on whether I like them or not. You Stranger. don't even know them. Stranger. Yeah. You, it's not, it's you not, can't tell if you talk to someone if you think they're a dick or how not. How long? Oh, okay. No, how wait, long? Within seconds. We're talking about you just met a person, a stranger. Okay. But if you're talking Say that to the bar, hey man, what's up? Oh, uh, cool. Oh, uh, check out that band tonight? Yeah, they were good. Awkward silence, don't know you. Brand new, right at the beginning. I remain silent or I walk away. Okay, so... I, for, first of all, I could give it... A, you can say shit. A okay. shit less about talking to a stranger at a bar. All right, so say, I, it's, I, say it's, it's a work thing. It's something thing. I don't do. Say okay. it's a work thing. Good you're, point. you're meeting someone through work, and, okay, you enjoy talking to them. Not like, wow, this is the greatest person ever, but you don't mind talking to this person. This isn't painful. And then you get to, like, a, 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 a poor, say, perfect example. You get on the 16th floor of an elevator, 
And no, 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 let's, let's, let's simplify it. Okay. okay, this awkward silence, this begins after I say something or after they say something? I'm assuming after I say something. Well, this isn't simplifying it. This is complicating it as far as I'm concerned. I, I, think, really? I think it could be either. I think it makes a difference. If it was after that person said something, and if I was compelled to not respond, I'd probably just end it there. So you're breaking the conversation down into answer, 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 answer. My not, turn, your turn. Not necessarily. And now it's the awkward silence because it's my turn and I don't feel like it, or now it's the awkward silence because I asked you and you're not responding. And and there's yeah. there's no there's there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you if that's what you're going with it's if fine. It, if it's work related, I'm comfortable enough with my line of work that I can keep going as long as I needed to until the meeting ended. I don't think that it's something that would drag out or. I think yeah. I think I think Dave's. Uh, I sorry, could pull th that off. Is it Dave or David? David. I think David's uh, thing is more. Uh, Social, I think, is the concept behind Social, it. Social, if, if the conversation dies, I, I could care less. I would either walk away or continue sitting there next to them, remaining silent. And that's what I said to Keith last week is I love that moment of just them being there feeling like knowing that they feel like they have to say something, but they have nothing to say and don't know what to say. I kind of like knowing that there's that discomfort there, and I'll just sit and relish it. Well, I like making people uncomfortable which is why is which is why i knew that would be the angle you would go with and, and my answer was the app well i'm afraid of demons so obviously i'm not looking to make people uncomfortable. oh is there something i could do to make you feel better about talking to me right now um what do you think about demons uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry sir could you could you <laughs> cough could you cough and let me uh, uh raise your leg and cough for this uh, mm. yeah awkward silences can be very enjoyable i love them i love them I'm a tremendous fan of this standing there, like, okay, your turn, go. And then they could say something, no, I still want you to keep going, but I'm not actually saying it, just with silence. It's, it's, it's enjoyable. Until they go away. Oh my god! Wait a minute! <laughs> I went to uh, Tommy. I went to the, to the Renaissance Fair with Tommy this year, and he did something like that. That he just stood staring at a girl and the, who worked at the fair that was uncomfortable staring at him, and it was like the uncomfortable off. They both were staring at each other. I totally forgot about that moment because as I was thinking about it, I was saying, "Oh, don't you remember at the Renaissance Fair?" Because it was a thing you would have done, just staring blankly at a person as you're just like, some way, it was someone who worked at the fair trying to sell something to him, and he's like, no, that's not gonna happen. Why not? And he just stood staring, looking at her. And she stood staring, looking back at him. And they stood there looking at each other for a good, I'm gonna say three to five minutes of just silence, while I was just sitting there relaxing, eating my sausage on a stick. Who broke? Uh, no, she walked away. So she did. I think they're both winners. Yeah, that's pretty good. That was it was so awkward. It was great. Mecca, I don't like small talk really with people I don't know. But do you like big talk even? Yes. Depends on the person or all the time. If they have anything of interest for me, regardless yes. of who the person is, as long as yeah. they're as long as as, 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 long as as long as they're interesting to me, whether I agree with them or disagree, it's equally as entertaining. If they're just small talk and flat, I could I could care less, and I'll let them. Our friend Veal Chop has had such issues with me whenever I go out with him and we go places because I wind up talking to the biggest idiot at the bar at all times, no matter what. That as second you said, biggest. Well, true. Uh, the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> the thing being that, uh, like you said, I don't necessarily have to agree with them. People that I hate what they stand for, but because they want to engage me in conversation about God, because they want yes, to engage God, me in yeah, conversation about poetry. Religion all day, I will and, talk and, to you. And I've sat, and I could sit there, and the thing is, I could even do it without being insulting to the person, like, without telling them that I disagree with them, just because I want to hear how God awfully stupid you are. I love that. I love that. And Vilchop got to the point that he's like, yeah, I, I don't want to go out with you, because you pick the biggest asshole in the bar and you sit next to them I, I, I'd rather sit at a table and, and like talk just you and me and we could ignore everybody it's like if that's yeah that would make that probably make me crazy too what if I was going out with someone and they just wanted to sit and talk to somebody who they disagree I with. want to look for the spectacle 
And it doesn't have to be someone I disagree with. It has to be someone that's the most interesting. There's something that's the most complex, weird thing. Some guy that was telling me about, I'm trying to think the moment that he said to me, it was, it was a guy trying to tell me that he knew God touched him. And was and was talking he was to just him like Sue. No, no, not pushed him down. Just touched him and was and was speaking to him. And he was having conversations with God. I was like, really? And I was like, dude. And and Bill Chuckman was like, dude, come on, come on. And I was like, no, no, no. We're in the middle of something here. I'll see you a little bit. And it wasn't like I was just there with him. There were other people, so it wasn't like I was blowing him off. It wasn't. Right. I wasn't like ditching him to hook up with a girl. You know, it was. I was so into this moron that I was talking to. That I couldn't help myself. I think that I, I hate the awkward silence and I but I don't I don't relish it because I uh, maybe the other people are relishing it because I no because I actually feel bad for the other person too during the awkward silence like how about on a date I've never been on a date so and I mean that I've never been on like a date I'm not Jack Tripper <laughs> or Greg Brady <laughs> I don't think I've ever been on a date in the traditional sense either now what's the traditional sense i'm not involved with you you're not involved with me but we're going to go out together and see if we like each other maybe we will get involved oh that's with a date another. when the when the, when you're acknowledging the potential for something romantic that's a date he only has one ear oh okay i'm gonna rewind the show for a minute <laughs> how about on a date Oh. What's your definition of a date? Oh, you mean when I uh, see, like when I go out with someone, <laughs> and I, and they go out with me. On Listen, the... I got attacked by demons. All night. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that's true. Yeah, that's. I thought you were saying you were explaining what you. Well, what I've been on that wasn't a date. Yet. No, I've never been on one of those. I've met girls out at places, and that an awkward silence. I just don't see you having too much awkward silence. Oh no, I, th I, uh, I don't know how to shut up. I love I love the sound of my voice. I don't care. Yeah, I, I can. I'll talk. There aren't too many. I, I've I've been uh, I've been accused of holding court fairly often. I like going. I just go. That's what I do. <laughs> I just get what I need. <laughs> it's weird. I was thinking about somebody today talking about the fact that yeah, you don't realize you just sit and just people listen to you even though you're not saying anything that means anything but there's something about the way you talk to people that they want I to listen. I did witness that. I witnessed it at the the 2008 Labor Day... 2007. Two, no, 2008. 2007. 2007, hear us talk, Labor Day... No, it was 2008. I can guarantee it was 2008. I guarantee it's 2008. Okay. It was 2007. Ron Hill's backyard, it was 2008 Labor Day barbecue and I witnessed you actually uh, holding court and, and, and entertaining like a group of like 25 people that were standing in the alleyway of, of Ron's house and it was pretty interesting. I don't Just know. like this in this podcast, we're entertaining 25 of you on YouTube. That's right. All 25 of you are welcome to By watch the way, us again. Those 25 people, I guarantee you not one of them will ever see this. You're probably right. Dead. You're probably right. <laughs> 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 That's a good point. But, but seriously, I don't think. But that... seriously, folks, <laughs> I just went from Cleveland, and boy, are my arms tired. Why Cleveland? <laughs> Where else are you flying from? You could drive from Cleveland. Well, I can. I don't drive. But, uh, but a, a, a terrible comedian that's going, oh, but I just flew in from. Where would he be flying in from? I've been, I've been flew from Milwaukee. That's the only place I would say <laughs> other than Cleveland. I feel like I, mean, I guess Cleveland is the place that the comedians always flown in from. Why wouldn't they? I feel like big it's comedy scene else. in Cleveland. I'm gonna say oh, it's too hot in Cleveland. You were trying to get this to play for weeks, and you finally got it. Yeah. Ironically, by the time this program airs, it'll probably be mid-August, and it will be too hot in Cleveland. It's always hot in Cleveland. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, you little dicks. Cocky socks. Steamroller, roll up your face. We'll see you guys on the radio and on the YouTube and on a podcast and at the mall buying shoes. Hey guys at bestinsureradio.com. 88, peace. I hate me for doing that, by the way. But you called yourself a dick. When you're you'll just, okay. You'll, you'll edit yourself out. Oh god, maybe I'll put a picture of me like handsome then. Handsome. Talk about handsome. 
handsome. Entertaining Talk Radio. Broadcast on the internet. This is HearUsTalk.com. The thing you do with your ears and the place to be.